In this video, we look at how to synchronize user account password hashes from Windows AD to Enter Domain Services with Enter Connect Sync. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to my channel. As promised in my last video, we're going to review how to synchronize password hashes from Windows AD to Enter Domain Services, providing the same sign on experience for on-premises Windows AD domain users in Enter Domain Services. Before that, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Check out my courses on hybrid identities with Windows AD and Enter ID, Azure Virtual Desktop, and getting started with Windows 365 and Intune Management on Udemy.com. The links are below, and thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Let's get on with it. We're going to see how to synchronize password hashes from Windows AD to Enter Domain Services with Enter Connect Sync in this video. Please note, we're not replicating passwords, we're replicating password hashes, and the replication takes place over an encrypted connection. However, Windows AD password hashes are a common target for attack. If you want your users to log into Enter Domain Services but don't want to replicate password hashes, there's a couple of other options. One is to set up an identity for the user in Enter Domain Services, although with that, they'll need a separate username and password. Another option is to use a trust relationship between the managed domain and the on-premises domain. This video reviews replicating the password hashes. Let's recap replication with identities in Windows AD, Enter ID, and Enter Domain Services. In the last video, we covered how cloud-native Enter ID sourced user accounts can replicate from Enter ID to Enter Domain Services. However, the Enter ID password hash is not valid for Enter Domain Services, and there's no way to generate a password hash that works with Kerberos and NTLM from that Enter ID password hash. Once Enter Domain Services is deployed in the tenant and the user changes their password, Entra ID will create a password hash that works with the Enter Domain Services managed domain. Users can then log into that managed domain with the same password. Users sourced from Windows AD and replicated to Enter ID, then to Enter Domain Services, have a password hash that will work with the managed domain. By default, that password hash is not replicated to Enter ID. Remember, the password hash used for Enter ID is different from the legacy NTLM password hash used for Windows AD. We have to configure legacy NTLM password hash replication so Windows AD users can log into the Enter Domain Services domain with the same credentials. It's not necessary for the user to change their password in this scenario. We're going to configure password hash synchronization from Windows AD to Enter Domain Services in the demo coming up. This video picks up where the last one left off, with Enter Domain Services and a management computer in place. We also need access to the computer running Enter Connect Sync to configure password hash synchronization. Let's log into the management computer to get started. Here we are logged into the Enter Domain Services admin computer. This is the computer joined to the managed domain in the previous video to run the Active Directory administrative tools. Let's go to Active Directory Users and Computers. For this test, we're going to use the test1.user1 at seraltos.com account. Let's open that account. It's way on the bottom. There it is. Let's go to the Account tab. This account is sourced in Windows AD, replicated to Enter ID with Enter ID Connect Sync, and then from Enter ID to Enter Domain Services. Notice the UPN ends with seraltos.com. The Enter Domain Services domain is seraltosds.com. It's a different account in a different directory, but we should be able to use the same credentials to log in. Let's give that a try. Let's open the command prompt. I'm taking a shortcut with this video. Instead of logging into the computer, we'll use the run as command to open Notepad as the user we're testing with. We'll have to enter the correct password for this to work. So it accomplishes the same task, proving the password has been replicated. Let's run the command to open Notepad as the test user. We're just calling run as, passing in the username test1.user1 at seraltos.com and then calling the executable notepad.exe. 
It prompts for a password. We'll enter the same password used in the seraldos.com domain. And it errors. I've tested this a few times to make sure it works as expected, and I do know that that was the correct password. But it doesn't work. The correct password is not in the manage domain yet. Next, we'll enable replication. To do that, we need to log into the computer running Enter Connect Sync. Let's go to that computer. Here we are logged into the Enter Connect Sync computer. I have a script on the screen. This script comes from Microsoft. I'll leave a link to that script below. I also have an updated version that includes the last two commands at my blog. The link for that is below also. We need two pieces of information for this to work. We need the Azure AD connector and the AD connector. More specifically, we need the name of the Enter Connect Sync connector for Enter ID, and the other is for the Windows AD connector. Both are used in the Enter Connect Sync sync process. One connector connects to Windows AD, the other one connects to Enter ID. We can get the name of these connectors by going into Enter Connect Synchronization Service Manager. Let's open that up. There it is, Entra AD Connect Synchronization Service. From here, we'll open connectors. There are two listed. The first in this example is the Windows Azure AD Connector, the legacy name of the Entra ID Connector. We can also tell by the onmicrosoft.com name that it's for the Azure AD or now Entra ID side. Let's open that. We'll copy, but don't change the name. We can hit cancel to make sure nothing changes. Now we'll go back to that script. We'll update the Azure AD connector with the name we just copied. We'll go back to the synchronization service manager. We'll open the other connector, Active Directory Domain Services, and we'll copy the name. Cancel, we'll go back to our script, and update the AD connector. That's the one for the Active Directory Domain Services, and paste that into the AD connector variable. Once we have those updated, we'll run the first few lines to add the variables to memory and import the AD sync modules. We can hit F8 or run the selection. I added the last two commands. The first will get the status of the password sync configuration. Let's run that. It's set to false. If yours is set to true, that indicates Enter Domain Services may have been installed in your tenant. If that's the case, you could disable and then re-enable password synchronization to force the password hash sync. Next, we're going to create a new forceful password sync configuration parameter object and update the connector. We'll select and run that block of code. Next, we can run the line that sets the password sync to true. That finished, and we can see that it's updated. Let's run the command to view the status and verify that it's enabled. Now, Enter Connect Sync is configured to replicate the NTLM password hash to Enter ID. The password hash will be sent to Enter ID during the next sync cycle. We can speed that up by running the command to initiate a sync cycle. Start AD Sync Sync Cycle is the command. Give the sync process a few minutes to finish. It could take some time in larger organizations. I'll pause here for a few minutes and come back once it's done. Some time has passed and synchronization has finished. We're back at the Enter Domain Services Management computer. Next, we'll verify our password hash sync is working. We'll run that same run as command. Again, this runs an application, notepad for this example, as a different user on the computer. This computer is joined to the Enter Domain Services Manage Domain, and it's using the Manage Domain for authentication. So if our user account and password hash has been replicated, we should be able to use the same credentials to run Notepad. Let's give it a try.
We'll enter the user password. This is the same password used in the source Windows AD domain. And that worked. This indicates the NT LAN manager or NTLM password hash has synchronized from the Windows AD domain to enter ID with enter connect sync and then to enter domain services. That is how to configure legacy NTLM password hash synchronization between Windows AD and enter domain services. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.